Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 2230, your go-to source for engaging discussions on news and events shaping our world. Today, we're delving into a rather concerning incident that unfolded in Singapore on the morning of December 23rd. It involves the arrest of two women, aged 28 and 31, for their suspected involvement in evading a roadblock set up by the traffic police along Upper Cross Street towards the Central Expressway. Picture this, a routine roadblock operation takes an unexpected turn when the car, in which the two women were allegedly traveling, stops at a distance before the roadblock. As traffic police officers approach the vehicle, the driver, a 31-year-old woman, decides to hit the reverse gear and make a quick getaway. What makes this incident even more intriguing is that, in a bold move, the driver swaps seats with the 28-year-old passenger, who happens to be the owner of the car. This strategic maneuver doesn't go unnoticed by the vigilant officers, leading to the subsequent arrests. Now, let's break down the charges and alleged offenses. The 28-year-old female passenger, the owner of the vehicle, faces charges related to drink driving, permitting another person to use a vehicle without a valid driving license, permitting another person to use a vehicle without insurance coverage, and obstructing the course of justice. Shockingly, she allegedly allowed the 31-year-old driver to take the wheel despite knowing the latter did not possess a valid driving license. On the other hand, the 31-year-old driver is facing a laundry list of charges, including suspected drink driving, evasion of a roadblock, driving without a valid driving license, driving a motor vehicle without insurance coverage, and obstructing the course of justice. It's a serious legal entanglement that paints a vivid picture of the consequences that can follow reckless decisions on the road. But the story doesn't end there. These two women were just a fraction of a larger operation conducted by the traffic police, resulting in the arrest of 18 motorists for drink-driving-related offenses. A total of 56 motorists were stopped and tested for alcohol consumption at various roadblocks. Shockingly, 17 individuals, both men and women aged between 23 and 70 years, failed the alcohol test. The highest recorded breath evidential analyzer test result was a staggering 97 micrograms of alcohol per 100 milliliters of breath, nearly three times the prescribed legal limit of 35 micrograms. Such instances highlight the severe consequences of driving under the influence, not only endangering the lives of those on the road, but also inviting legal repercussions. Now, let's talk penalties. Driving under the influence of alcohol carries a hefty fine of not less than 2,000 Singapore dollars and not more than 10,000 Singapore dollars or a jail term of up to 12 months or both. Offenders may also face disqualification from driving all classes of vehicles. Evasion of a roadblock can lead to a fine of up to 10,000 Singapore dollars, imprisonment for up to seven years or both. Driving without a valid license or without insurance coverage can result in fines of up to 10,000 Singapore dollars, imprisonment terms of up to three years or both. The vehicle may also be forfeited. These penalties underscore the seriousness of the offenses committed and serve as a stark reminder for all of us to prioritize safety on the roads. It's not just about avoiding fines and legal troubles, it's about protecting ourselves and others from the potentially devastating consequences of irresponsible behavior behind the wheel. As we wrap up this segment, I invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What are your opinions on the penalties for such offenses? Have you or someone you know been affected by drink driving incidents? Let's engage in a meaningful conversation, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more insightful discussions. Until next time, stay safe on the roads and thank you for joining the conversation.